Welcome to another episode of the Azure Enablement Show. In this episode, we are going to talk about what's new in the well-architected framework, which is a set of guidance and best practices created for architects, developers, and solution owners to improve the quality of Azure workloads. Welcome back. My name is Thomas Maurer, and I'm here with Dom Allen, Principal Program Manager in the Microsoft Skilling Organization, to talk about updates to the well-architected framework. So, Dom, it's great to have you here today. Um, before we talk about what's new, could you set some context for us? What is the well-architected framework, and how do customers use it? Sure. To give some background, Microsoft publishes a large amount of fantastic content on the Microsoft Learn platform, which helps customers who are looking to build skills or need technical documentation or guidance. As part of this, we give customer adoption and architecture guidance in three key sets, which we refer to as Azure Patterns and Practices. Now, as you can see from this slide, the goals of Patterns and Practices is to help customers be successful in their cloud adoption journeys and find the balance to the key results they need while applying controls and stability in the decisions they make. Now, Patterns and Practices has three main content sets, the Cloud Adoption Framework, the Azure Well Architecture Framework, and the Azure Architecture Center. And each focuses on a specific part of the journey and talks to specific audiences. But today, we're talking specifically about the Well Architecture Framework, often referred to as WAF. So WAF is really important as it's a set of considerations and recommendations for workload teams to help them be successful in Azure and deliver the benefits of cloud technology. So we think about Well Architect as being a state which you achieve through design and maintain through review and continuous improvement. And the content gets created is centered around that and helping customers create those well-architected workloads. This is super useful. And like since we're talking about updates, in this fast-paced world of, uh, of cloud computing, uh, things are changing obviously very quickly. So how does the guidance evolve over time and how do we adapt to new updates to services and new improvements and adding new services and capabilities? That's a great question. So we're continuously working with subject matter experts to review and refine the guidance that we're publishing. But specifically, we're talking about the recent updates that we've published, which is a broad update across all of the pillars of Well Architected that strengthens the guidance and can be really helpful for anyone who designs or manages workloads in the cloud. Now, these most recent updates take learnings from a huge range of customer-facing technical teams and distills it down into a set of refreshed considerations and recommendations that are based on the learnings from a large set of projects. Awesome. So now, Dom, can you tell us about what's new in the well-architected framework? What is these big changes we have to talk about today? Sure. So as you can see from this image, there's a huge ecosystem of guidance that we provide to help customers and partners who deliver well-architected workloads. But we focused on the core of this for the update, the well-architected framework that we publish on Microsoft Learn. The big updates in this refresh are the guidance within each of the five pillars. And I want to take a look at each one of these individually. So firstly is the principles. Now principles help set the vision for the workload, the big considerations when starting to develop the architecture. These are the first steps in the design thinking process. They're goal-oriented principles that build the foundation of the workload. They're universally applicable concepts that are there to help all workload teams be successful. And each of the principles includes a set of recommended approaches and the benefits of taking each one. Next up is the checklists, which help architects ensure that they've covered all of the important topics for each of the pillars by providing high-level recommendations for each. You can use the checklist during the design phase of your new workload or to evaluate an existing workload. And these checklists contain really useful sets of guidance that help architects progress further into the design process and help make informed decisions. Third is trade-offs, and trade-offs is a really big focus area for us because we know that when working through the design or improvement of a workload, decisions need to be made to meet the business requirements that will require finding a balance between those core WAF pillars. It's also vital to understand how achieving the goals of one pillar might make achieving the goals of another pillar more challenging. And a great example of this is performance versus cost. So we wanted to make sure that we provide great guidance to help customers work through those trade-offs and reach the decisions that are right for their workload and their business requirements. And finally, design patterns, which is connections into the Azure Architecture Center, which helps customers progress from design to build and get the resources needed to succeed. The connection between the well-architected framework and the Azure Architecture Center is a really important part of our narrative and the toolkit for customers to be successful in Azure. 
So all of this fantastic guidance has been created to help customers achieve their business objectives and reduce the complexity of designing technical solutions by sharing learnings from a huge range of technical experts from across the Microsoft community. What's also really important to underline is that the well-architected framework is both for design and continuous improvement. It's there to help the workload teams throughout the entire life cycle of their workload. Awesome. This is very interesting uh, and some huge updates, obviously, to the well-architected framework. So, Dom, um, if customers now want to learn more, what next steps can they take and where can they find more information? Totally. Thanks, Thomas. So check out the Well Architected Framework, uh, aka.ms slash WAF, W-A-F. Just to reemphasize that this is for all Azure customers. So wherever you are in your workload cycle, designing or improving a workload, the Well Architected Framework is there to help you. Awesome. Thank you very much, Dom. It was a pleasure to have you here to talk about updates to the Well Architected Framework. Also, thank you to everyone watching. And if you want to learn more also about the Cloud Adoption Framework, make sure you check out aka.ms slash adopt.